it's so fucking hot in this room. It's hot in this room and I am having a hot flash and there's a fan and the AC on and I can't, I can't turn them off. I can't even feel them on me because the fan is blowing the other way and the AC fucking sucks. I'm sorry, please don't break down because I said that and hurt your feelings, but you fucking do. I can't turn them off. I'm terribly sorry for the terrible audio, but I can't do it. My uh, oxygen compressor thing lets off a lot of heat too. Like it's, it's weird. It, it heats the room up very badly. But unfortunately I cannot be without it because otherwise my oxygen gets dangerously low while I'm sleeping. So I didn't vlog yesterday. I didn't have anything to vlog. I didn't do anything. And didn't feel like, like going out of my way to like do stuff to vlog. So I just decided to rot all day. Oh shit, I need to call and reschedule like right now. Like right now I need to call and reschedule my uh, therapy because we have to leave in about 20 minutes to take me to my appointment early and then Epps is gonna take D to his therapy and then we were gonna have like an hour or so until my therapy. Bitch, I have not slept. I cannot sleep. I am going through a cycle right now where like I am only sleeping for like an hour to three hours at a time and it's usually like not at a good time. Like falling asleep at like 10, 11, 12 and then waking up after one to three hours and not being able to go back to sleep. And that's what happened yesterday and it greatly contributed to me not wanting to do anything. I was really hoping to knock it out of the park last night when I fell asleep at an actual decent hour and then ended up waking up at 1 a.m. and couldn't fall back to sleep. I was genuinely hoping that that would be my moment, you know? No, it wasn't. Anyways, I gotta call my therapist and reschedule therapy because if I go in there and I'm like, yeah, I'm tired, barely slept. He's always like, why are you here? Why are you here? Why not just reschedule? And I was gonna try like hell to make it in and then I had this moment this morning where I was like, what if I just don't? What if I just do what he always tells me to do? And I reschedule. And it was like this burden was lifted off of me. It's like this burden was lifted off of me. Um, yeah, the, the only thing that I am a little bit worried about is the fact that like my pulmonary visits never last that long. They never last very long at all. Um, I'm always in and out really, really quick. And I'm gonna have like, a half hour to 45 minutes to sit there and do nothing waiting for Epps and the boys to get back to pick me up. I'm debating on whether or not I will walk home because it's not that far from my house. Then again, I am wearing bondage pants and it is basically summer. We're not having a hot girl summer. We're having a rot girl summer. Am I fucking right? Am I right? Okay, I have to call my therapist. Wow, the audio on this is awful from the fan and the AC. I'm sorry about that, genuinely. I can't turn it off though. I can't, I cannot turn it off. Um, I'm almost done talking though. Uh, <laughs> I'm so fucking tired. I'm so tired. Oh my God. Are my pupils big? No, but I wouldn't be surprised if they were because sometimes when I'm feeling feral, they are. I called and I rescheduled. There's like a piece of like old eyelash glue that has been stuck on my fucking eyelid for like a week now, despite the fact that I wash my face every day and use like makeup remover and shit. And I'm like, why do I not have any eyelashes? Where do my eyelashes go? Oh, let, let's just sit here and rip out the four that I actually have. Listen, I called and I rescheduled and there's this new girl that works there and she's like super nice and everything, but like, Usually when I call to reschedule, they'll like ask me why. Not like in like a like pushy way or like a rude way or whatever. They'll just be like, oh, just wanna like fill them in. And they, like they just shoot them a message and be like, oh, hey, she is rescheduling because she doesn't feel well. She didn't sleep well, something came up, nothing. She's just like, okay. <laughs> I feel bad. I feel bad. I wish like had I been thinking, I would have been like, can you make sure that you tell him that it's because I didn't sleep? 
make sure that you tell him it's because I was in my kitchen at four o'clock in the morning making these tiny sandwiches out of Swiss cheese and salami and just trying to get something in my stomach so that I would shut the hell up and let me sleep. It didn't work. been walking for a couple minutes now but I'm walking home because um, Dee's appointment just started like 15 minutes ago and it's an hour long and uh, Epps and E are with him and I was like you can't you can't leave him there and I don't want him to end therapy early so I'm just walking I'm walking home I am absolutely terrified to cross the street I'm not gonna fucking lie I'm terrified I am happy that it's super pretty though, and also that uh, it's not hot out yet. <laughs> Alright, it is almost 3 p.m. and I just woke up from a nap. Like, I came home and... I went to sleep. <laughs> I came home and I went to sleep. Um, I had a really good appointment. It was really fast. So that's good. And also I have, I want to do a makeup look. I want to make a makeup video because I have it in a few days and I really want to. And I have like all this new makeup that I want to play with, but that's not why I want to do it. I just, I haven't done my makeup in a few days. And do you ever like start to feel weird about yourself when you don't wear makeup and you're like am I like whatever and then you put makeup on and you're like there I am there there she fucking is that's how I feel right now also my mouth feels disgusting I need to brush my teeth again because apparently I don't know I don't know I must have been like breathing heavily out of out of it while I was sleeping I can taste it no, I thought there was something in my teeth. No, that's just the shadow of my snaggle too. Um, anyways, I had a really good appointment. It didn't last very long. I was only there. Like, I knew when I got there, uh, if I showed up a little bit early, they would take me back. And I showed up like 20 minutes early, but I spent probably a good 10 minutes roaming around the hospital trying to figure out where the fuck I was going. Because I haven't been in two months. So I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember. I went to like the wrong floor and stuff. And I went up to the, I ended up caving and going up to the information desk and asking them. And then I got upstairs and I was like, I don't recognize this floor. This could be any part of the hospital. I feel like I'm not supposed to be here. I feel like this is supposed to be employees only. And then I figured out it was because I got off of a different elevator than I normally do. Like an elevator further down the hallway where like the conference rooms and shit were. But like I was allowed to be there because like there's an elevator back there and people use. Anyways, I had a really good appointment. Um, The last time that I saw her, she tried to tell me that like my... uh asthma is allergy induced that I must have really bad allergies to like grass and pollen and and dust and shit like that and I was like no actually I can walk around outside and I I don't sneeze I don't I don't I mean I have a son like D is allergic to fucking nature like i could i couldn't sit here and list everything that he's allergic to so let's just ball it up into one quick statement and just say that he's allergic he's just allergic to nature i like grass like I, like everything well she had blood work done on me at my last visit to like see what it was but like specifically she's like you've got to be allergic to pet dander and this, that, and the other. No. <laughs> no. Um, I do have a lot of food allergies, but no. No. The only thing that nature does to my lungs, like pollen and shit like that does to my lungs, is enter it and refuse to leave. But that's not because of my asthma. That's because of, of the... Uh, 
disease that I have that causes mucus to build up in my lungs and like the thingies are really stretched out and they can't I can't get it out unless I take my mucinex. That is the, the part about nature that really screws me over. But I'm not like walking outside into my backyard and like sneezing because somebody's mowing. Like that doesn't really happen to me. Like every once in a while, I think anyone sneezes. I, everyone sneezes every once in a while. But my son has bad allergies and she's trying to tell me that I do what I'm thinking. Do people like legitimately think that People don't live in their own body. I, I've never, I've never, I've never been allergic to pollen and and grass and just, every, I'm like, huh? But uh, she was much nicer this time around than she was last time around. I was told nothing was going to change because did I drop my fucking hairband? I did. Oh, I didn't. I just did. Um, I was told nothing's going to change because my shit seems to be under control. Um, like, my asthma seems to be under control. She's like, obviously, if, like, something happens where it's not anymore, like, you're having trouble, like, more trouble breathing. Because I told her, like, when I move around, I do have trouble breathing. But that also can be, like, my lung disease that isn't my asthma. And she's like, well, if you feel like you need, like, your inhalers to be stronger or anything like that. Um, obviously I can, I can write you a stronger prescription. Uh, we talked about my supplementary oxygen. Um, she told me that uh, this fucking piece of glue, you're fucking killing me. Oh my God. She did tell me that she thinks that I need a sleep study done. Did I tell you guys that I, like, impulsively bought a blonde wig at, like, 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning? I impulsively bought a very, very long, like, 48-inch blonde wig on Amazon. <laughs> I don't know why. I I couldn't. I could not. This is fucking you're killing like you're you're killing me i don't know why i did it but i did but she thinks that i need a sleep study done um because i don't sleep well and like i explained to her like i never have like this is not something new to me i have never slept well my entire life i do have adhd i do have you know a psychiatric disorder that has you know it, it's psychosis i do have circadian rhythm upset i do have anxiety um if my pituitary gland is acting up, that can also, you know, contribute to sleep things. Because she's like, do you snore? And I said, no. And I said, I asked my husband, like, multiple times, do I quit, you know, breathing in my sleep? And he says, no. I said, I just toss and turn a lot and have trouble, you know, falling asleep, staying asleep. And I wake up at weird hours. Guys, I have a diagnosis of circadian sleep or circadian rhythm upset. But she wants me to have a sleep study done. I'm pretty sure that you can do it at home. Because my therapist did his at home. And he was telling me about, like, you have to, like, put this shit on you. I don't know. I finally fucking got that glue. <gasps> That's a sign I should do my makeup. I have been sitting here trying to get this son of a bitch eyeliner that I got a couple of days ago. They really don't want your ass to be able to use this. Like, I get it. You don't want people to be able to steal it. But they also, if you buy it, they don't want you to be able to use it. They want you to throw it away and cry. Oh, oh my God, I just ripped this off. But to be fair, I had to, like, I had to, like, get, like, two stickers off of there. With my fucking teeth, they wouldn't come off. I'm so curious about this. I'm going to shake it. It doesn't say to, but I'm going to. I'm so curious about this. How do I open it? The fact that there was a bunch of them left makes me not too confident in it. Wow, yeah. They had a couple different colors, and I wish, I kind of wish 
Why do I have to sniff everything? I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. I have to sniff everything. They had a couple different colors. It took a couple, like, whatevers to get it. And maybe if I store it upside down. It, co it took me a couple tries to get it, but they had a couple different colors. A couple of years ago, I bought a bunch of, or not a bunch, but, like, a couple of things of the NYX um, Epic Wear not the epic ink the epic wear like the waterproof eyeliner and i bought a white one and i really 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 liked it but it was super fucking cakey like i had it had to be cakey for me for it to like not be streaky you know what i mean and i know this is probably weird to say but i felt like it like made my eyes sore they had that in white i wish i would have gotten it in white like Along with the yellow. I wish I would have grabbed the white one. I was just terrible. I've never bought a white eyeliner that was actually worth a shit. They were like every one that I've ever tried has been like streaky, cakey, watery. They've never actually shown up white before. Um, and if they did, like I would have to like paint the shit on thin. And I was like, I don't want to waste money and I don't want to waste time. I highly doubt this yellow is going to work. It's not bad. I really want to do a rainbow makeup look. I'm also opening this lip glaze stuff that I haven't opened yet. Guys, when I tell you I do I did nothing yesterday but fucking rot in bed. Uh I I I do very much mean that. I need to not tear this up because I have no idea how to use it. It's a lip glaze hydrating glossy stain. Lightweight and long-lasting high shine glossy finish. And I know that somewhere on here it says shake well. I don't want to rip up the packaging because I have no idea how to use this. But bitch, you need to come out. You need, you need to come out. There we go. Thank you. Look how small the fucking writing is. That's the instructions. What the fuck? Am I nearsighted? how to fill your lips fill in your lips by starting at the center and spreading outwards rub lips together to get an even coat and allow a few minutes for formula to set and true pigment layer on but do i have to use a brush or can i use my finger will it stain my finger Okay, it's a little thingy thingy. That's exciting. I don't know why. I think the shape of it made me think that it was like a dropper. You know what I mean? Like it made me think that it was a dropper. I, I can't see. Do you like that? Do you like that I'm doing my makeup in the dark? <laughs> I love doing my makeup in the dark and then acting shocked when I go in proper lighting and it looks like shit. I gotta sniff it. I have to sniff everything. It smells like chemicals. Mm-hmm. Smells like fucking chemicals. And then you're supposed to leave it on and the color and shit's supposed to develop over a couple of minutes. It, that wasn't like what it, it, things are never complicated. I just like to fucking complicate that. Okay, so tomorrow is Dee's birthday. And as of right now, my plan is to get up and take him somewhere for breakfast like let him choose where he wants to go and then take him shopping and he has a birthday party tomorrow afternoon um so I want to film a makeup video to post for tomorrow so that I can you know not have to worry about oh I'm not going to be home when it's time to, to you know upload or oh I didn't vlog enough today or anything like that so um that's the plan right now I really want to do a pride look. I really want to do a pride look. I have this ambition in my head to do, like, each of the pride flags. But, like, the way that I've been feeling mentally lately, I'm like... <laughs> teamwork will make the dream work. And by teamwork, my fucking medication, it could just... It could, it could, do, it could do something. <laughs> Alright, guys. I'm gonna let you go because... that now i'm gonna let you go because it's like almost yeah it's after three it's after three and i need to exfoliate my face and do my skincare and stuff and then i'm gonna sit down and do some makeup 
do some make i was gonna play with this new makeup that i got but if it doesn't work with the look that i have in mind which will be my famous fucking last words i've never done anything like the look that i have in mind even though i was a teenager in the early 2000s and rainbow makeup was like super super popular uh i've never done anything like it before I've never done anything like it before. I was like best friends with the scene queen of my city and the surrounding little towns. Um, I, was, I was like best friends with her and she wore rainbow makeup all the time and I've never done anything like it. And listen guys, I'm not fucking around with indigo. I'm not. We're skipping indigo. It does not exist. I will have a fucking mental breakdown about what the hell is indigo. I don't know. Is it purple? Is it blue? Is it both? I don't know. If you Google it, it looks definitively purple or definitively blue. And that's like, not, I, I can't do it. It's not like turquoise, you know, where you can tell that like turquoise is blue and green. It's not like that. And I can't wrap my fucking brain around it. I'm so confused. So we're skipping over it. We're skipping over. It's not going to be Roy G. Biv. It's going to be Roy G. Boof. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow.